now we just head down towards the bowling club to get a $6.70 pint of Guinness. Oh, that's strange, the neighbours' dogs are barking for once. You know, I wonder why they bark. I've got no idea what, what, what do dogs think they're achieving by barking constantly. I mean, I can understand the, the Dalmatian that my cousin owns. Uh, that whinges, but that whinges with a purpose. That's basically to get attention from mum, who's my cousin, Jenny, and she's a sucker for the dog. Now that makes sense, but just this constant barking. I don't know, maybe it's just a group thing. They are pack animals, I guess, and that's what it's about. Anyway, um, had an interesting day at the pub yesterday at PJ's. Uh, so I actually finally spotted uh, Steve and uh, sat up there to have a chat, but there's this guy between the two of us. Incredibly animated guy. He was just hyper, sort of hyper happy, but with a bit of an attitude. I, I don't know how else to explain it. He worked on the land and he had a, a bit of a chip on his shoulder about something or other. A little, little incoherent. Um, and he, uh, but he seemed happy enough. But uh, uh, apparently Steve didn't really appreciate his, uh, his company and he told me later that he would have actually walked off um, a few seconds later if I hadn't arrived because uh, the guy was driving him crazy. Um, but you know, he's, he seemed harmless enough that you never know up here. It's, uh, it's an interesting place. There's quite a few characters here and you, if you don't know who they are, you've got no idea who you're dealing with. Um, but you know, I, I got on okay with him, I thought. Um, but you know, he's very boisterous. Um, like I say, at least he laughed a lot. And it wasn't didn't seem to be overly aggressive. Uh, however, he uh, he didn't take kindly to uh, being knocked back an, an extra drink by the barmaid. I was out, I just little toilet, and I returned and just found found him leaving. And uh, he wasn't happy, happy chappy apparently. I don't know if he was actually pissed. I think he's just a bit crazy. But I guess they've got to make a call, don't they? A judgment call at the pub about behaviour like that. Yeah, the sun's got a bit of a kick in it today. This is uh, one of the warmest days I've struck since I've been up here. I think it's supposed to be a top of about 29 degrees. Uh, you know, I don't mind. It's not humid. So uh, I find it very pleasant. I actually walked a fair distance today. I, I took the bus into town because I needed to get the, uh, the ad application in for uh, the Martin Street property. Um, but I decided to walk home. I also discovered a couple more of the sections of the trail I'd missed uh, the last trip so that was quite nice walking along the uh, the creek uh, and you know there were a few people along the way also taking advantage of uh, the facilities and uh, either bike riding or walking their dogs or whatever a lady with dogs she said hello to me which is you know just it's really nice just that very rarely happens in Melbourne but uh, it's it's quite frequent occurrence here and uh, yeah that's no, got uh, that's good, it's good to see. Uh, this looks like a, a new uh, version of an old Queenslander design. So they're doing contemporary build of it. Don't have to be too many of them around. They seem to be more the uh, standard suburban type homes rather than the traditional Queenslanders being built around here. Which I guess it's a bit sad. Because you know, there is there are man a definite advantages to the Queensland design, good environmental design, having the breeze coming under the, the house made sense. Yeah, there's no shortage of churches uh, around here, even near the Bowls Club there's another church. So, uh, yeah, these Queenslanders, they take uh, their religion seriously, at least they attend <laughs> one or the other. <laughs> Could we just show? No, they've got cheap drinks anyway, so they're doing something right up here. Uh, we're heading towards the bowls, got very close now. And um, Thomas, who I spoke to, who is a uh, chef who lives in North Cairns, he just, chat, just started chatting to me, as many of the locals do, uh, while I was having my uh, Guinness. He, he said that um, the, the bowls club actually is very popular and it actually... Uh, they have quite a few uh, solar panels on the roof that you'll soon see. So many, in fact, that they're able to uh, 
to sell power back to the uh, power company. They've got a surfer to power generated by their solar panels. He didn't want to go into the economics of it all because he thought that might be a bit political. Uh, <laughs> I don't know exactly what he was referring to with that, but apparently it's a subject that can get quite heated up here, so maybe it's the coal industry versus the solar boys, I don't know. But um, yeah, it sounded like there's something happening there, but uh, pretty close. Wish I was a bit closer. Uh, can't wait to get that old Guinness between my lips. Now here we go, so, over there the roof, look how many solar panels are there, it's amazing. So uh, yeah, it's a pretty good setup they've got here. And of course, there's no flies on the bar. Good. Right. Oh, bar. Well. Get my cheap Guinness on YouTube.